Good morning, friends, and welcome to Storytime Online with the Pflugerville Public Library. We're going to start with our hello song first. And remember, we use sign language with our hello song. We use more, together, happy, and friends. And we're going to sing it twice. All right, let's begin. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Be. Yay! Welcome back to story time. Today we're going to read and hear all about bugs. Our first book today is 100 Bugs, a county book by Kate Narita and pictures by Suzanne Kaufman. And we're reading it today with the kind permission of Macmillan Kids Press. Explorers, explorers, rising with the sun. Pat on the creaky door, pack on the shiny floor. It's time for some bug counting fun. Walking sticks, walking sticks, hiding all about. One by the old hose, nine by the gold rose. How many bugs hiding about? 10. Dragonflies, dragonflies, zipping all about. Two by the weather vane, eight by the bug bane. How many bugs zipping about? 10. Leaf hoppers, leaf hoppers, hopping all about. Three by the pharaoh, five, seven by the yarrow. How many bugs hopping about? 10. Ladybugs, ladybugs, zooming all about. Four by the rafters, six by the asters. How many bugs zooming about? 10. Bumblebees, bumblebees, buzzing all about. Five by the horse feed, five by the sneeze weed. How many bugs buzzing about? 10. How many bugs out and about? 50 bugs hanging out. Butterflies, butterflies flitting all about. Six by the rain boot, four by the snake root. How many bugs flitting about? 10. Damselflies, damselflies darting all about. Seven by the wishing well, three by the coral bells. How many bugs darting about? 10. Spittlebugs, spittlebugs jumping all about. Eight by the chicken cage, two by the woodland sage. How many bugs jumping about? 10. Katie did, Katie did, singing all about. Nine by the wood box, one by the white phlox. How many bugs singing about? 10. Lightning bugs, lightning bugs flying all about. 10 by the happy boy. Zero by the autumn joy. How many bugs flying about? 10. 10 bugs hanging out. 10 from before plus 10 more. 20 bugs hanging out. 20 from before plus 10 more. 30 bugs hanging out. 30 from before plus 10 more. 40 bugs hanging out. 40 from before plus 10 more, 50 bugs hanging out. 50 from before, plus 10 more, 60 bugs hanging out. 60 from before, plus 10 more, 70 bugs hanging out. 70 from before, plus 10 more, 80 bugs hanging out. 80 from before, plus 10 more, 90 bugs hanging out. 90 from before, plus 10 more, 100 bugs out and about. 
Hip, hip, hooray, it's a 100 bug count day. And if you check out this book, you can learn more about the bugs and more about plants. The end. All right, friends, let's sing a song, a counting song about bees. You ready? One little, two little, three little buzzing bees, four little, five little, six little buzzing bees, seven little, eight little, nine little buzzing bees, 10 little buzzing bees buzzing all around. Shall we count one more time? One little, two little, three little buzzing bees, four little, five little, six little buzzing bees, seven little, eight little, nine little buzzing bees, 10 little buzzing bees, Buzzing all around. Bzzz. Can you buzz like a bee? <laughs> all right, friends, our next book is What's Your Favorite Bug? Written by Eric Carl and Friends. And we're reading it with kind permission today by Macmillan Kids Press. Each page is written by a different author and describes their favorite bug. Caterpillars by Eric Carl. To tell you the truth, I have not always cared for caterpillars. They are squishy and hairy, and occasionally when you hold them in your hand, they poop. Why then is the caterpillar my favorite bug? Many years ago, when I punched holes into a stack of paper, it made me think of a bookworm. But with the help of my good editor, Anne Beneducci, the very hungry caterpillar was born. Now, not only children love my book, but so do adults who grew up with it a generation ago and still remember the caterpillar story with genuine affection. It has been translated into 62 languages, most recently Mongolian. That's why I love caterpillars. Praying Mantis by Denise Fleming. The praying mantis can easily hide in plants because its legs look like stems and its body looks like leaves. And also the only insect that can turn its head and look right at you. Tegan White says, I like moths. They come out at night and make the dark less lonely. Beth Cromers loves dragonflies. Dragonflies symbolize courage, strength, and happiness. Many are iridescent and colorful, shimmering like jewels in the sunshine. Fierce hunters and fast flyers, they can zoom in any direction, including backward and sideways. Best of all, dragonflies eat mosquitoes. Maggie Rudy loves katydids. Who hid in the trees disguised as a leaf? Katie did. Who had ears on his elbows? Katie did. Who washed his face like a cat? Katie did. Who played his wings like a fiddle? Katie did. What song did he sing? Katie did, Katie did, Katie did. Scott Magoon likes a daddy long legs. Hiding in my shady spot, playing hide and seek, under our deck or at the wall, I'd remain long after I heard someone speak. Late afternoon, shadows begin to fall. Come on, we're done playing, the voice long begs. No way, I thought to myself, you have to find me and my lone lookout companion, Daddy Longlegs. Bees by Molly Idol. Everybody knows that bees make honey, but did you know that bees also make conversation through dance? It's true. Each boogie woogie wiggle and buzzing ballet allows them to talk bee to bee about where the best blossoms are. I like to imagine that every flower they flit to in my garden is a tiny stage with a stem, making the world a better place through pollination and performance art. Bravo, bees! Ants by Ikua Holmes. 
When I was a girl, I lived in an apartment where we could not have pets. I wanted a dog or a cat, but the landlord said no. My mother had the idea to get me an ant farm. We put together the bright green plastic set and poured in the sand. The ants arrived later by mail. In their new home, the ants began building, burrowing paths in the sand. I loved it! I could watch them for hours, carrying grains of sand, burrowing, burrowing pathways, moving food from one location to another, eating and drinking and having babies, which emerged from their tiny cocoons. I wished I was tiny enough to visit them in their homes. I think they were watching me too. Ladybug by Tim Hopgood. My favorite bug is a ladybug. I live in England and over here we call ladybugs ladybirds, which is a funny name because you can see them from this drawing. They are not a type of bird. The reason I like ladybugs so much is because of their color. Such a bold, bright red. And I love their pretty black spots. And because ladybugs spend most of their time sitting on green leaves, they stand out a mile which just goes to show you don't need to be big to be noticed. Firefly by Kennard Pack. Firefly, you blink so bright, float away now, out of sight. Maritus species, otherwise known as Peacock Spiders by Brendan Wenzel. Meritus Volants and Meritus Splendids make me feel like anything is possible. Millipedes by Britta Teckentrump. I love millipedes. They remind me of my grandmother's garden. I would pick up rocks and stones to find them hiding underneath the shin the shade. Did you know that a millipede can have up to 750 legs? Worker Bee by Eric Fan. My dad became a part-time beekeeper when he retired and I would watch the bees for hours on end, fascinated by the worker bee's ceaseless industry and organization. It's the worker bee who builds and maintains the hive, feeds the brood and looks after the queen. As foragers, they leave in return with pollen, nectar, and water for the hive. These worker bees, they are female. A Walking Stick by Eugene Yelchin. I look closely at a tree. Suddenly a twig walks. My heart leaps, first with curiosity, then joy. It's a walking stick, the grand master of disguise. I love them. Joey Chu's favorite bug is the rhino beetle. Tiny bug, huge strength. Rhino beetles can lift something 850 times their own weight. And that's our last bug. And in the back, you can learn a little bit about each of the different authors who had and shared their favorite bug. What's your favorite bug? All right, friends, that's all we have time for today. If you picked up a story time kit, today you can bake your butterfly. And don't forget, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently this summer, and you can register to have access to all of our story time playlists online on our website. Just go to our website and register for story time and you'll get the link. But now, sadly, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. On another day. Goodbye, friends.